Hey, welcome back to a pod gaming. I'm Fallen Frog, and you guessed it, it's tip of the week time. Uh, this week we're going to talk about custom emotes for your Twitch channel, and we're going to be doing that through Better Twitch TV. So if you head over to nightdev.com, uh, we've used this for a number of different tips in the past. I love this site. Uh, you can click on projects, and Better Twitch TV is right there at the top. Better Twitch TV is just a small little browser extension. Here's how it looks in action. Uh, so you can see, you know, I've got the darkened theme going with Twitch. To get to your Better Twitch TV settings, you can just click your cogwheel, and you've got a box down here that has all of your Better Twitch settings. Uh, you've also got some of your most used settings, like dark mode. We can toggle this on and off so you can see uh, it changes the, the look of the site. I personally like dark mode better. Uh, you can set some blacklist keywords and highlighted keywords, uh, set the scroll back amount for the chat, font, font size, things like that. This is all related to your experience. This isn't going to affect the chat for everybody else. So let's just click onto our settings button. Uh, we've got better Twitch TV and we've got different settings that we can toggle for our channel. Anonymous chat, alpha chat badges, uh, all kinds of different things. Better Twitch TV emotes, uh, you want to make sure you have these on because we're going to be using Better Twitch TV today. And that's how we're going to be making our emotes. You can also do GIF emotes with them as well. You're welcome to go through here and look at all the different options they have to make your Twitch experience better. Uh, we're going to go over to the channel tab though. You can also do Discord integration, channel bots, subscribe to Better Twitch TV Pro if you wanted to. You don't have to have Pro for the emotes, so I will let you guys know. But let's click on the My Emotes tab. And you can see these are the emotes that we have available over on Epog Gaming. And you can also see we've also got the commands for each of the emotes. So I'm going to show you those in action right now. I've actually got them already typed up. So once I hit enter, you'll see, boom, we are showing our emotes there. So not everybody uses better Twitch TV. One of the things that you can do to ensure more people get to see these emotes is if you're showing your chat on screen, they'll be able to see the emotes that are being displayed to you. So that's one way to make sure that everybody gets to you know, see the experience and have some fun with that. I also use this over on my channel with the butterfly emote and frogfall. Making these emotes is really simple, especially if you're an artist. Here is, here is a folder I have with, uh, these are at 28 by 28, 56 by 56, and 112 by 112 pixels. Choose your file right here when you're ready to add it, your image file. I would suggest a PNG file with a transparent background for the best effect. Your chat code is what you want to type into the chat to display that emote. Justification is just if you need permission to use that image, if it's a copyrighted image or someone else's artwork and you need to you know, provide that you have permission to use it, you can do that right there. And you also need to submit your email address and then you'll be notified via email if your chat emote was accepted or rejected. Now I actually submitted this frog logo just a couple of weeks ago and it was within a matter of hours I was already alerted that it had been approved and it was ready to go. So you don't have to be partnered to have custom emotes for your channel. You can take full advantage of that now. Just you know, download Better Twitch TV. One other thing that you can do to make this a really cool experience for your viewers is incorporating the Kappa Gen settings that I had shown you guys in a previous tutorial where you can have emote explosions and you can actually show your emotes on screen. One of the features they have is they you can use better Twitch TV emotes and even allow GIF emotes as well. You know, we've got some settings, so if you want to make that for subscribers only uh, or change how often those can show up on screen, you can do that and even change the spawn zone. So I'm just gonna double click the spawn zone here. Uh, and then the same for the ex emote explosions, which you can have an explosion of custom emotes every time someone follows your channel uh, or subscribe follows or subscribes to your channel or follows or subscribes um, you can change the durations of those as well so we've got the channel name Hapog Gaming set up there here's the custom URL that you're gonna grab and paste into OBS or XSplit so you can copy that to your clipboard and then just paste that into a browser source or URL within XSplit or OBS and then here's the commands of course so if you want to see the explosions or custom explosions you can play with these but coming back over to the chat, I want you to see what that looks like in action with our Hapog Gaming emotes. So I've got Capogen emote explosion test ready to go. Watch the webcam frame because I have it placed just I have it placed just over uh, just in the middle of my webcam frame here. So when we hit enter, oh my gosh, all the Hapog! Look at that, all the Hapog. <laughs> uh, really cool. Uh, like I said, it's a browser source though, so you can actually move that box if I go ahead and queue up another one you can see we can move this box however we want we can resize it of course uh, so you can do some really cool stuff with this so if you've got your own custom emotes it's just really a kind of a fun way to play with your chat and let them have some fun it also is a 
you know, just a great way to show off every time you get a new follower. It's insane. <laughs> So there you go. It's really easy to set up custom emotes. It actually just takes a couple of minutes. Uh, just make sure you have better Twitch TV installed. Go into your channel settings and uh, you know start adding your own images. Uh, I would definitely suggest rewarding new followers uh, to follow your channel. The explosion thing is really cool. People get a kick out of it. If you have any questions or comments though, do feel free to leave those down below. We'll be happy to get back to you. Uh, or message me directly. You can find me at Fallen Frog, you know, over on Twitter or Facebook, whatever. And then, of course, every weekend I'm over at Hip Hop Gaming's Twitch page uh, streaming games and stuff. So, uh, you know, you can come find me there as well. But thanks for watching, you guys. We'll see you next time.